Hi, my name is Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share something very personal with you. Oh my god. I think in life you always learn from experiences, good or bad, and yeah, so there should be no regrets. But however, in my life I regret two things. And today I'm going to share with you my biggest regret ever oh my god and i'm gonna share this with you um so in the hope that it might in inspire someone so today is 23rd of june and here in spain or here in catalonia especially it's san juan saint john and well i think i think it's tomorrow so tonight is a very special night people go out and um there's lots of fireworks basically on the beach and fireworks and alcohol, which for me, I think is a terrible combination, personally. And so, in, in the previous years, I've always kind of tried to stay at home or tried to do something very chilled um, on this night, because people go absolutely crazy, and I'm kind of a bit of a safety freak, so I don't like all this uh, throwing fireworks around and uh, you know, people drunk, people who are drunk and etc. So, three years ago, um, Okay, so you're wondering what the biggest regret is. Okay, I'm getting there, <laughs> I'm getting there. Three years ago, I was invited to a kind of alternative San Juan party, and it was gonna be, there's gonna be no fireworks, it's gonna be quite a spiritual event. And as I was preparing to go there, um, one of my friends, I, I smoked um, some tobacco, and one of my friends said to me, why do you smoke tobacco, you stink? You know what, and, and because up to that moment, um, I used to smoke about, I think, a packet of rolling tobacco maybe once every 10 days I would buy a new packet, so I don't know how many cigarettes that works out as being. It wasn't, I was never a, a big smoker, maybe about five a day, which is not much in terms of cigarette smoking levels or standards, but for me it was just it just felt really bad and every time I went to buy tobacco I, I just felt really guilty and and also I've been paying um, for private health insurance since 2005 so that's almost 15 years I've been investing in my own health and if you follow me on on Instagram etc you'll know that I'm I'm really passionate about living healthy I'm, I'm a vegan I don't drink alcohol so it hasn't always it's been a kind of a journey so I've always been quite healthy and even before I was vegan I was um, a vegetarian for many years I've always liked walking so I've always pr I practiced yoga for many years as well but the one thing that I did or what which was not good for my body was smoking and I felt so guilty about that because I thought you know you can go to the doctor any day and be sick for some reason maybe you're stressed or there's some things that are out of your control that are affecting your body and your health whereas smoking was something that I was paying to do to myself it was complete self-destruction and that's why I regret it so much because I already knew that it was bad for me but it, I kept going kept doing it kept doing it and it just got to that moment, 23rd of June, three years ago, that I thought, this is the day it's gonna end. So that day I just decided, okay, I'm gonna stop smoking because also the friend who had told this, so who, who told me that I, that I stank of tobacco, had given up tobacco two weeks before that. So he was all like a reformed character really and trying to convince everyone around him to do the same. And he completely convinced me. I was like, you're totally right. So that day I gave up and the next couple of weeks were really hard. I mean, really hard. And I, I just want to say that I have, I've never smoked since. So I just gave up like that. And I'm going to share with you how I did it. So if you're a smoker, I hope this, this might inspire you somehow. Well, here in Spain at the time it was cherry season. So I ate lots and lots of cherries. And so yeah, it was that oral fixation. It was really hard for me to concentrate as well. So I found that I just eating lots of cherries helped somehow. But one massive help for me was um, I found a timeline online describing everything that happens to your body after you stop smoking. It was really inspiring. For example, I didn't realize how quickly the nicotine comes out of your system. It's very fast. So that means, I can't remember precisely, but it was something like a couple of days after was the hardest moment when you're really at 
craving that that nicotine and then also seeing how your body heals itself is really really inspiring so i kept going back to this timeline and consulting it over and over again just to check what was happening inside my body but there are i've heard there are also apps like this i think there are some apps that you smoke your last um, cigarette and then it starts they start sending you messages describing now this is happening now this is happening inside you. it's really fascinating how the body can can heal itself and so that's what I did. I, um, I consulted this, uh, this timeline over and over again. And I realized that over time I was consulting it less and less because at first I think when you give up something that you enjoy that's bad for you, the same happened to me with alcohol is that at first there was a, a period of temptation just to go back and do it all over again. But then there, there is a period of, once it's out of your system and you start to just change your habits, I think there is a period of absolute rejection which goes on forever hopefully and that's what happened to me with tobacco and I started to really pity people outside in cold offices smoking and just to get that hit and just thinking of how expensive it is really it's quite shocking when you think about in a year how much you would spend on tobacco and think you could probably have paid for some really cool holiday with that money so it's just an absolute waste and now I just don't think it's self-loving at all so once i'd gotten over this um the cravings to smoke again i treat i put weight on which was a, a downside to it probably had something to do with all the cherries i was eating as well um so to get over that i bought myself a juicer and that was my kind of self-love present reward for my to myself for giving up tobacco and then after I bought the juicer I signed up to the gym for the first time in my life I was always kind of anti-gym I thought ooh those machines and blah 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 but um it's actually absolutely changed my life and once I'd invested that money in a juicer and a gym there was no way I could justify going back to smoking it just seemed like a different person and now the person I am today, I just can't believe I was ever a smoker, but I'm um, here to tell the story at least. And I, I feel so good now that I, I was able to give it up. And I know that people who give it up and go back to smoking, oftentimes it could be because they were, uh, they had some alcohol, because that can kind of get you back into smoking again. And because I'd given up alcohol, it was kind of easier for me. So, um, so yeah, no looking back. And it's the best thing I've ever done is uh, giving up tobacco. I feel. Now I feel less guilty when I go to the doctor because I think I, I'm actually paying a lot of money every month and I've been doing that since 2005 and now I know that I'm doing the best that I, I possibly can for my body, I think. So, uh, so yeah, and tobacco is never, ever, ever good. So if you want to give up smoking, I encourage you to make that decision and do it today. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it inspiring and see you next time.